So I've never actually played this game. And I thought, why not change that? And change it in a format where I can actually, you know, do it on the channel. Have you guys experienced this with me? My first playthrough of, well, literally, yeah, my first playthrough of Amnesia the Dark Descent. Another blind one, but, uh, I think that's the best. Ooh, ooh, I, think, I think that's for the best, actually. To go into this game completely blind, because this is the this is this is that this is one of the games that's like oh it's just no, top ten spookiest game ever, Amnesia: The Dark Descent number one. Number one, Amnesia: The Dark Descent. So uh, yes, let's do this, and hopefully it will be spooky, because all this hype, all this hype about. Amnesia the Dark Descent being the scariest game ever. There's a lot of games that have been hyped up as the scariest game ever. And I have I have experienced some of those games. I'm just like, this is spooky. Where's the spook? Where's the scrim? But hopefully, this game will actually, you know, scare me. Give me a good spook, Amnesia the Dark Descent. I challenge thee. I hope I'm not gonna be like showing my foot in my mouth when I'm just when I'm too scared to continue. Hey, the game was designed to be played. Of course. Why would I not play it how the game was designed to be played? Don't forget. Some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Ah, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am Daniel. Clearly it's London. It's raining. <laughs> I've never been to London. So I don't know. I just hear that it's rainy there. Lovely. Uh, press jur journal. Here, quick mementos. Press M. Oh, I put journal on the source. Journal. Notes. Oh, no notes. Diary. No diary. Mementos. Find the, find the trail of the liquid source. Hmm. Hmm. So slow. Hold down left mouse button. Press right button to... Throw the door open. Oh. Well, that's kind of silly. Picked up tinderbox. Is it just me, or is the or is the world or is the world kind of on a Dutch angle? Just slightly. Whoa. Even more Dutch angles. What the hell is happening? Hmm. Why am I in a Scooby-Doo mansion? I simply want to know. Calm down, Daniel. Hmm. 
boxes, another light source in the environment. Like number of tender boxes used by tab. Hmm. Health all is good. Sanity is crystal clear. Journal contains all the notes. Click to open. Two tender boxes. Neat. Oh, tender box. Hmm. Whoops. Set hold down R to rotate it. Ah. Yes. I wonder. Whoa! Nice. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. But it doesn't get me a thing. Maybe I move the paper? No, that paper's stuck in there. I thought it was going to be a note or something. Tinderbox. Chair. Hmm. Ooze. Yes, please. What year is this? It's empty. That's what it is. Hmm. Lovely. Hmm. What the hell? Okay, there are some actually spooky noises going about. Oh gosh. Apparently this carpet is lovely. Lovely enough for Daniel to just drop down and start rubbing his face against it. That's progression. At least the linens are nicely folded. Oh gosh, beware standing in the darkness while sanity will sanity train turn on the environments using tinder boxes. Really? Slight headache. Really? But the darkness is your friend. Safer in the darkness than you are in the light. This Daniel guy, I swear. What a pansy! I feel like I'm gonna have to be editing out a lot of times where Bandicam's just like, oh, nope, it's it's not responding. Because Bandicam does that for some reason. Hmm. Why he click I thought we were in some. I thought we were. Woo! I thought we were in, uh, in England, not in Germany. Woo! Ugh. Ew, roaches.
Head is pounding and hands are shaking. Already? Uh, I recall... I could be wrong. I think I remember something about there be... Like, I've heard that there's an Easter egg up there. Yeah, look into the... Look into that if it's a, if it interests you. Turn. Don't really want to press F. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, more tender boxes. Very nice. He's spoopy. Gosh. It's these random earthquakes. Oh gosh, what's that? A bugaboo? I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Hmm. Yes. Left shift while moving. Oh, I, I, I kind of could have guessed that. That's typically the sprint button. Whoa. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the. What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. Okie dokie. 
Mamma mia! Oil, tinder box, yes. Ugh, roaches. Hissing cockroaches. Mmm, flesh. Nice. How you doing on sanity, Daniel? Slight headache. That's good. At least you're not going crazy. Is it just me or is Daniel kind of short? Okay, I guess it's just me. I guess I've never been in a castle before. A dilapidated castle. Oh, spider webs. Don't want to don't want to disturb the spider webs. Spiders are our friends as well. What the? No spoopy noises in the dark. I'd rather you didn't. Hmm. Anything around here? That was a waste of time. sunny day outside. Or, you know, a cold, unforgiving night. I'm kind of getting mixed signals here. Tabularium Archives. Hmm. Oh, tinderbox. Gimme. 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 Do I need to go to the archives? I could have swore I just heard... Is that the sound of a dog or a... No, that's a bird. Hmm. Should I go down there? I don't know. I have no idea as of where to go. Laboratory... So many places. Wine cellar. Oh, hell yeah. Laboratorium. Salavinaria. Okay, let's just go down these spooky steps. I think that's where, where we're being guided. By the... Drops of blood? Refinery. Hmm. More flesh. It's tough and pliant. It can't be torn by hands or tools. Hmm. So I guess to the to the laboratory then? Oh. Don't want to mess up a web. Hmm. <laughs> Can it be dissolved? So I guess that's probably call for going to the, to the laboratory. Oh, 
scream at me, ground. Ugh. Not a fan. Is that so? hints. What the? This is my third attempt to, pro to produce artificial vitae. The former co compounds lack the potency I need. But I sense I'm close. Calamine and Orpiment are a given, and the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt Aqua, aqua regi, Regia instead of Aquaforus. Aquaforus. In hopes it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful, the solution was highly acidic, and proves impractical for it to put in any use except as detergent. As a det as a detergent? Organic tissues react ex especially violent to the solution and should be handled with the greatest of care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I'll find an alch alchemic solution to my predicament. What's wrong, Daniel? In the dark for a bit too long? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Now, where would I find these things? Combining four chemicals can create powerful process. Was there a door down? I just hear something. Aha! Uh -huh. A lack of a chimney to produce pro to produce proper vent to the fumes. My most re recent experiment has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in the storage. Some may be unaffected, but maybe some may be stained by the fumes. It'd be difficult to salvage. I should do what I can to move them to the wine cellar. Ah. Aha. Aha. But I'm taking another look around. Jeez, what is this rumbling? What's that? One day I would return if it wasn't enough. It wasn't for a thought of you. If I'm doing terrible things, I take a break. Right. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I wait for them. They lost for power without restraint, or I only car for fair judgment and safe return. Whatever you mean by that. Aha! This place is wrought with, like, you know, earthquakes. Daniel, you can't 
honestly tell me you're going crazy from that little bit of darkness. Why is the screen shaking then? Jeez, rumbly. Jeez. That was fucked up. That was a fucked up blurb, Amnesia of the Dark Descent. Locked and will not open without a key. Perhaps there's a key in the archives. Find the key in the wine cellar. Move to the wine cellar. Really, the archives is the only place I can go now, so it makes sense. Again, that just. Something sounds like a dog in trouble. And I don't like it. Rare books. Oh gosh. Sixteenth of May. 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Mm. Oh god, roaches. Back up. Back up. Hmm. You know that that's the crazy thing. Like hinges. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's the crazy thing. You ever think about it, like, there must be so much stuff just buried beneath the, beneath the sand in, like, in, uh, in deserty places. Because that sand gets blown a lot. There must be so much buried beneath the sand. Or maybe there's not. Who knows? I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg. This contract will, will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition to Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg, to, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm. Ah! I can't do a good Wilhelm stream. House of Gerich. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Study. Nothing. More nothing. 
So many of these, so many of these things are empty. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Doesn't seem like you're trapped anymore. Aha! Yes. Good to keep checking stuff like that. Piano. Ha! Tinderbox in the burner. That's funny. Where's the furnace? Lovely out. This place has seen better days. Hands are shaking. Really, Daniel? Ooh, the dark. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, the dark is spoopy. No, the dark is safe. The dark is calm. Who asked you, picture? Or painting? Is this an original Bob Ross? I doubt it. Those trees don't look very happy.
we go. History room is locked. Is there another entry? Yeah, I was just wondering what, what was scribbled. Oh dear. This castle is unstable. Honestly, I'm just getting absorbed by the story. Ooh! So many resources! No. No spooky piano. No. just go immediately into my into my lantern hmm. central prussia kingdom of prussia gonna need some prussian blue Daniel, the note. 17th May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most Mm. Yet again, the story has me intrigued. Just, just, just saying. by head 
Well then. I guess you gotta use your head in situations like that. I I I I, I highly apologize for that joke. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. Castle 1801. Another region rich with lore is Altstedt. Deeper than the East Prussian woods for centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest clad mountains dress with scattered lakes is picture is as picturesque as it can be. Jesus. I'm unable to speak. As picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conver conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that, ke that keep reappearing. The Gatherers this story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty, year, 30 Years' War. All it is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their, by their tainted souls left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years, describing them as horrid revenants. They silently move, they silently move through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. Steal living creatures? Is it their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged, be dragged behind them which reveals their presence? What dark scheme do they follow? This concerns me. This concerns me that I might get that I might meet someone dragging a burlap sack. A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Well, a well-known erudite visited Altstead at the at the start of the 16th century. He resides in a local inn for a fortnight. <laughs> As he, uh, as he, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. As, as he looked for the remnants of kingdoms past, during his stay, all the, pro all the prominent members of society said no to, paid notice, as he mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate the borough of North, Northwest Glades. Oh, you never be seen again. Oh. Heimrich is known to have passed away in Glen Gren Noble some ten years ago. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstead, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who is this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his family, in his, at his castle nearby Altstead, and like most of these noble births, rumors are inherited alongside with the t alongside with the title. 
Research the history reveals a little before the castle was consumed by fire in late 16th century and was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands claiming the role as protector from the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to the lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the lived through the time of the lived through the time of occupation, and joined the Covenant Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Hmm. Hmm. Those weren't my footsteps. I don't see. Aha! Aha! And it even gives us triumphant music. Yes! I enjoy the music of triumph. Regarding closing of the wine cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough and their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is, ki and is, killing, m and is killing my trusty servants. The sheriff? Killing your trusty, ser trusty servants? It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. Need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to further avoid investigation. From the public, the wine cellar will therefore be sealed off as a matter until the matter has been handled. Either the kingdom's men will leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, uh, it would in a sense, solve both my problems. Which way did I come? What the? Ooh! Um, I hope I didn't need to go that way. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I need to go that way.
Where are you at? Castle's trying to digest me or something. Okay, that's neat. Didn't know a castle could do that. Well, I'm shook. find the key to the wine cellar, but I just, I did. Ah, okay. Wine cellar key, cool. That's good. Head is pounding and shaking. Okay. I think, I think we can call this an episode for now. I, I I think I got I think I found what I'm looking for in a spooky game, cause I am cause I am I'm spooked, I'm shook. I uh, I got the scary. <laughs>